how about them Steelers? You got to give your squad some love. Pittsburgh sitting atop the AFC North with a perfect 4-0 record, followed by the 4-1 Ravens and Browns. This division stacked. Meanwhile, number one pick Joe Burrow and the Bengals have struggled to get off the ground in the division. Huge shout out to Chase Claypool. He had four TDs, the rookie, on Sunday. Max, I'll start with you. Which AFC North quarterbacks under the most pressure moving forward? Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson is a phenomenal player, but as I've been mentioning, 21 and 1 against the league in all other cases except for the following. Okay, 21 and 1, practically und virtually undefeated in the NFL until you play in your biggest games. 0 and 2 in the playoffs, and then 0 and 3 against the Chiefs and his what well, who should be his chief rival, Patrick Mahomes. But right now, it's not much of a rivalry. Lamar Jackson has to show that he can lead this team to at least a playoff win. It's not good enough for them to be really good in the regular season. We know he can do that. But can he play from behind? Can he win in the playoffs? Can he win his highest profile games? That is enormous pressure. And because he is otherwise so excellent, we have all eyes on Lamar Jackson adding to the pressure. This team looks like if you just play like it normally does when it matters most, why can't they win a Super Bowl or at least get to the AFC championship game? Not enough for Lamar. He's not held to the standards that most quarterbacks are held to because he's had a record-setting start to his career. There's more pressure on Lamar to succeed when it matters most. I disagree. I think it's Baker Mayfield, Max. And let me address first Lamar Jackson. No matter what happens this year, no matter if he fails in the postseason, Lamar Jackson ain't going anywhere. He's an electrifying talent with the football in his hands. We know how evasive he is, how, his, how, how elite his running ability is. And as a result, he's a threat. So they'll have to figure out how to get him to perform in the postseason. But in a regular season, he's pretty dominant against any and all others outside of Patrick Mahomes. In the case of Baker Mayfield, his career is on the line. The Cleveland Browns have won four straight. It ain't because of Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield ain't even completing 62% of his passes. He's got nine touchdowns and four interceptions. He's been relatively pedestrian. And this is with Odell Beckham Jr., Jarvis Landry, Austin Hooper. Uh, you've got Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt coming out of the backfield both. Um, and even though they're four and one, remember, because Stefanski has done such an exceptional job of protecting Baker Mayfield from himself, modifying his game to such a degree where the risks are limited. The bottom line is that as a result, the team is flourishing, but they still have the 29th ranked passing attack in the National Football League. They just happen to have the number one rushing attack. So we've got to take into consideration that they appear to have the right coach. They clearly have the right personnel outside of the quarterback, and you can fantasize and imagine what you can be if you're the Cleveland Browns organization if you have someone other than Baker Mayfield quarterbacking your team. So I think as a result of that, they're going to look at it from that perspective, and they're going to say, excuse me, is this the right guy for the job? Ain't no question about Jarvis Landry. Ain't no question about Odell Beckham Jr. or Chubb or Kareem Hunt. The question mark is the quarterback. It's not anybody else. In Baltimore, they just have to figure out a way for Lamar Jackson to win playoff games. In Cleveland, it's about whether or not Baker Mayfield is going to have a job as a starting quarterback after the season is over. I, I, I like how you just gave a point that maybe undermines your point from earlier in the show about Dak Prescott. Because could you imagine, Stephen A., if the Cowboys don't offer a, an impending free agent in Dak Prescott, if he makes a recovery, the kind of contract he wants, what would a team like the Cleveland Browns do, you think, for a guy like Dak Prescott based on what you just said about Baker Mayfield? Well, I didn't undermine anything. I just think it's a matter of whether or not Dak Prescott is going to be healthy first and foremost because – Obviously, not since you've had such a nasty injury. For example, we see, even though it's a different injury, because in Gordon Haywood with the Boston Celtics, he tore his tibia, you know, tibia and fibula. The bottom line is, even though it was a different injury, it was so nasty, even though he can play and he's healthy, he's certainly not mm -hmm. the same as he was when he came over from Utah to the Boston Celtics. Yeah. And we recognize that. Is that going to be the case My, with Dak Prescott? We you're right about see. that, of course. Yeah. Right. Um, you're right about that, of course. My point is that you're, you're pointing out about Baker Mayfield being a starting quarterback but not an elite kind of quarterback is well taken. Um, the Browns, you're right, could be looking to upgrade if he doesn't show more, although right now they're on a roll.
great for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.